All right, welcome. Hi. Hello, everybody. You're actually going to be talking today about how to hear your intuition, how to hear that voice, and equally important, how to differentiate it from the voice of the ego, which actually threatens to, to disturb us as opposed to love on us. So welcome. You are listening to Dr. Joan Hangarter, also known as Joan of Angels, for the messages that I I channel the art that I paint. I am an oracle, I'm an intuitive, I'm an empath, and I've been probably doing this work for so many lifetimes and centuries that it's really second nature. You probably already heard me before. So welcome. So let's just start today by having a moment of gratitude. All right, so taking a deep breath in and letting it all out. Mother, Father, God, we are so grateful for the presence of each and every one of you and for the presence of our guides and our angels and those beings who have come with us to help us live our best life and to remember who we are and to walk our path. And so as we talk about how do we know what that path is, we get down to what is that intuitive voice that we have. So, but I'm thinking today about how do we actually access that voice that, that and trust it and trust it, okay? So there's several components to this. We wanna know how do we access it? How do we trust it? So let's get first to the trust part of it because I think it's the trust part. How do we trust our voice when at one moment we hear we're, we're beloved, we have this great future, you, you are a leader, a clairvoyant, you should be doing this work, you should be healing, et cetera, et cetera. And in the very next moment you hear another voice that goes, yeah, right, you think you're a healer, huh? Really now? Or you think you can do this? Like there's millions of people out there who are healers. What differentiates you? So have you guys ever heard that voice? So say yes if you've heard the voice of the ego. Now, in the beginning, sometimes they are so very hard to differentiate. And why is that? It's because our ego is the voice of our parents. It could be the voice of society telling us no. It could be the voice of our fear. Okay, so knowing that the, vo that the ego is there, how do we differentiate with this intuitive voice? So the intuitive voice comes in soft, well, I was about to say it comes in softly, like the whisper of a wind. And I would say that's true half the time. Or, you know, as often as it needs to be, you might hear it, and I'll tell you how I hear it. Oh, and the more I say yes to it, the more I hear it. I didn't hear it for a long time. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was my ego, okay? So I hear on my right side, my right ear. And go back to a few days ago where we started this series and I taught you how to do that audio ear flossing so you can clean up your hearing. But I hear it on this side and I, would, I was going to say I hear it softly, like a whisper, so I could almost not hear it. And, and I find that I have to actually stop and repeat it. So it's a whisper, but it's not always a whisper. Sometimes, so the first time I recall really hearing it was 1970-something. I don't know. I was in California. I had run away after I graduated college and it was a very lonely night and I heard my whole full name from birth given, um, Joan Beth Abramowitz. And I hadn't heard that in a long time. I heard it loud as day, like someone had shouted it in my head. Well, like my husband that I had left had shouted it in my head. I hadn't seen him for nine months, talked to him or anything, and I hear this shouting. 
I think it's outside in the street. So I'm explaining it as like in my head, but I thought it was outside. So I go running out thinking he's down there and he's not. Now, later I found out that that very night he had had a breakdown and he was drunk as a skunk, I heard. And he was calling my full name, my birth name, over and over and over and over and over again. And I heard that in San Francisco, okay? He was in Boston, I was in San Francisco. But it was that shouting, okay, shouting. So it may not always come. Now, it may also come, I'll never forget, it was 2006 or five, I was about to put money down on a, a, on a property in Florida in an investment with a dear friend of mine. And it was four of us and my down payment was $50,000 and it was a brand new house that they, I don't know, down, it was like an $800,000 house. It was supposed to go up to a million dollars, but I started to get a sickening feeling inside. I mean a sickening feeling. And I was ignoring it. Every day I was ignoring it. But it, it was eroding my stomach. And then I started to have dreams of my mentor, Lalo. And Lalo had said something to me I said, how will I ever know you're with me? And he says, when, when you're about to make wrong decisions, you will feel me. You will see me, you will feel me. This was before he had died. He was an Aztec native and very powerful medicine man. And, uh, and so now I'm, I'm like in pain and I'm dreaming of him. And I finally pulled out of the deal. But that was also the voice of my intuition. Okay, so I've just given you three examples of how you know it's your intuitive voice. Right, guys? How do you hear it, by the way? Um, you know, I've, I've said I hear it all three ways. I probably also miss it sometimes. So how do I make sure that I hear it? So sometimes, because we're going to be going through this for a couple of days. I, I think accessing our intuitive voice is so much a part of mastermind secrets. How do we know what that mind master, the real mastermind has in touch, in, in store for us? And what is that voice we're bringing in too? So lots of factors to this. Okay, now the voice of our ego. How do we know it's the voice of our ego? Well, our ego usually seeks to diminish us. Okay, our ego usually seeks to step in and say, uh, you really think you're gonna go there? Who do you think you are? Or the ego goes, uh, I'm too scared. I, I don't do things like that. I'm afraid of heights, etc." Maybe, okay, right? So <laughs> what do we do? When we think we're hearing that still small voice, okay, and as Darren is saying here, we hear it, we watch for signs and confirmation, yes, okay, and that's important, actually. That was the next sentence I was going to say before. Yes, we ask for confirmation. Show me. Give me a clear arrow signal. So, and you may hear it in many ways. It could be a song that's given to you and stuck in your head. It could be a penny or a dime on the ground and that you pick up and put in your shoe. Because for me, when I see pennies, especially two coins on the ground, I know that it's direct from my dad, okay? Or it could be um, like it happens all the time for me, just when I really need an answer and I'm asking a question, I come to, an intersection and on the corner is a, a miracle hearing aid store, okay? Miracle or angel maids, angel. So words like that. One day I came upon, oh, by, by the Grove, all of these miracle signs. Oh, I hope that they're still there. Okay, now, this is all really important. Did you know, by the way, all right, so my guides just said I need to give you this one tool, this direct 
tool today. Besides the ask for confirmation, all of this, I'm going to give you this one other tool. So Thomas Edison, Albert Einstein, all of them downloaded talk in their memoirs or when they talk about how did they discover new information, Tesla, they, they will report that they were either working on a project or working on an idea or an invention and they'd go to bed and they would wake up in the middle of the night and suddenly grabbing a pen and paper, all of the formulas, the information would be coming through. It would be almost like one of them said, it was almost like tuning in to a radio frequency. So imagine that it's a radio frequency. So listening to our intu in intuitive voice is almost as if we can turn on the radio and set it to the right dial and voila, it will download to us. What do you think of that? Because that's true. So let's do And now, oh, okay, so we're going to really practice this again. But now I, I've given you step two, which is accessing the radio, okay? Step one, going backwards, they said, okay, well, how are they going to access the radio? I hear this all the time. What I just heard is more like gentle voices. They're talking. They're like giving you this class. And I'm listening to it all the time now. I find it very fascinating. This is a very delicate voice. Okay, so yes, it's as simple as listening to the radio. It's as simple as asking. But what if there's a really good practice that we could do? All right, so close your eyes and take a deep breath in and send it down to the uh, center of the earth. Good. And again, breathing it in and sending down to the center of the earth. Mother, Father, God, we ask right now for clarity, guidance, wisdom, and understanding. Okay, so just right now, I want you to imagine that not far from you, maybe a few feet away, is a radio. And it is an old-fashioned radio. And it has all sorts of dials on it. All right? So I want you to imagine that dial. Now, that dial is the dial for to turn up that radio frequency. Now, between you and that radio is a curtain. Kind of like the Wizard of Oz. You know how the wizard was behind that curtain, that green curtain, and they had to pull it away to find him? Okay. There is a little curtain on a rod between you and that radio. And so the first thing I want you to do is literally with your right hand, and I want you to do it first physically, but I want you to anchor it into your imagination. I want you to move over, like open up. Okay, okay, there's two, not just one. So open it up like this. See, my guides are getting clearer and clearer every single day. So they're showing me that we are opening up this curtain like this, like the Wizard of Oz is on the other side, and there is that radio. Hmm. That is the radio to our communication with the other side and with our intuitive voice, for sure. So now there is a dial, a switch. On that switch, oh my God, this is amazing. On that switch, there is one station that's called Intuitive Voice. It is lit up bright in gold. Whew! Gold writing, Intuitive Voice. A gold and black, and it is flashing at you, okay? And so all we have to do is with our right hand, turn up that intuitive, turn up that dial, until you get to intuitive voice. And in this case, I'm seeing it that it is a vertical, 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 and suddenly, vertical, that intuitive voice, that channel. So right now, understanding 
that all your channels are open to receive because there is literally a tube that's going from that radio station down through that antenna and through you because we have been working for weeks on that antenna as well. So imagine that you are now a pure vessel for that divine message. And so my beloved friends, what is your intuitive voice telling you? What is your intuitive voice bringing out to you? Now, I love all of you. I just have to say something. I am tickled pink that you are here with me, that you're commenting back, that you're sharing the information, and that you are getting value from here. I appreciate it. And so, collectively, Spirit has says, this is our time to really receive information from the other side to guide us on what could be a precarious path here on the planet. Now, I talk about passion, mission, purpose over and over and over again, but how do we fire it up away? How do we hear that voice and how do we know? So, I will tell you this. It is your intuitive voice that will save the day. It's so beautiful. Carrie was on the other day and she had uh, given us some information about a, a bold and brave step she had taken and I was guided to suggest she have a reading with me and boy did we have fun. We are lifetime soul friends. I think we've known each other forever and you know a lot of you are like that and the best most blessing is when I get to meet you personally. It is a hoot, okay? Not a hoot. Uh, it is such a spiritual treat because what do we do in those sessions? We actually connect with your guides and you get to hear the highest intuitive voices you ever can of what your voice is, why you're here, what your purpose is. The whole thing gets laid out and we just go into, oh my God, amazed. I'm, I'm more amazed because all I know is I get guided to say yes, you know, and then God knows what comes out. Continue to dive into this subject of listening to our intuitive voice. So you too can start to receive those messages really clearly that Spirit has for you and that you've actually instructed Spirit to send to you. So I love you and have a fantastic day. I'll be